Hello, this is Hong from Computing Architecture Lab from NICE in Japan. Today, I'm going to talk about asymmetric cryptography, one of the key technology we use to secure the blockchain network. Okay. Yeah, firstly, let's go to the basic idea. Do you know about the Postmail? Yes, I guess the answer would be yes. Yes, in Postmail, uh, I take it as an example to explain about the honor relationship between a human with the letters. So in the Postmail, we have public address like your house address, uh, for example. A public address is used so that the other people can send you a letter. Okay, and then there is a private key so that the owner can open the mailbox to get the letter inside. So in this case, if anyone keep the private key, they can open the mailbox to see the container inside. It means that you are the owners of this letter. Okay. Similarly to this uh, idea, the asymmetric crypto is used in blockchain to protect the owner relationship. Okay, so when you join a blockchain network and if you create an account, it means that you are running an asymmetric cryptography algorithm to generate two keys. Here we can say is as the public key and the other keys is known as the private key. The public key is equivalent to the mailbox address and private key is equivalent to the mail mailbox key a secret key the secret key to open the mailbox okay the characteristic of these two keys is like this if you are using a key to encrypt the data you can use the other key to decrypt that data and vice versa for example in here if we have the message hello world if we use the public key to encrypt this message here. Then we can use the private key to decrypt this message to see the original information, hello world. Okay. And again, if you use this hello world information and use the private key to encrypt the hello world, then you can use the public key to decrypt the message to see the original information, hello world in here. Okay, that's the characteristic of the asymmetric cryptography. Now, let's see how the asymmetric cryptography is used in blockchain. There are two uses key. The first is public to private key. So in this case of uses, it's similar to when you use the postmail. It means that the data will be encrypted by using the public key of the receiver. And then at the receiver, the receiver will decrypt the data by using their own private key. By using this way, anyone in the network can send the data to the receiver, but only the receiver can open or decrypt the data. Here is more detail. Now we have a plain text. And if we want to send this message to someone, we use the public keys of that person to encrypt the plain text data to become a cipher text. As the receiver, that person will use their own private key to decrypt the information to get back the blank text information. Okay, do you get it? And another use case is private to public. So this case is similar to the digital signature. So you know that when you send someone some information, you need to cite in the letter that you are the real person that sent this message, not the other one, right? You need a signature. So this signature is important 
to so that the receiver know that uh, this is not this is not a fake message from someone else, not you. So, and uh, in this case, so for example, when you send a data message, you will create the hash of this message, and this hash will be encrypted by using your own private key, and the date the result will become the digital signature and you attack this digital signature together with your message and send to the receiver. At the receiver, he or she will verify your message by doing as follows. So firstly, yes, the receiver will uh, get the message and compute the hash of the message to get the result and in another way he's also get your signature and decrypt the signatures by using your public key the sender's public key and the result it should be a, a hash value that match with the hash of the message here if the two hash values are matches so it means that uh, the this message is really from that sender. It means that the senders keep the private key. So it's proved that the signature is correct. Okay, you got it? So in more detail, let's say you send a hello message. Let's say you want to send a hello message. Firstly, you calculate the hash of this message and then you use the, your private key to encrypt this message and this message becomes your signature here. You attack the signature with your message, hello watch here, and send together. At the receiver, they get the hello message, calculate the hash of the hello message. At the same time, they decrypt the, your signature by using your public key. To get another hash, if the two hash value match, it means that your signature is correct. But if is if the hash are not match, it means that your signature is incorrect. So it means that this is a fake, a fake message, and they will do not believe on this message is from you. Let's overview how the asymmetric cryptography is used in the blockchain network. Let's say in the network, we have the sender A and the receiver B, and there are some miners that take care on writing the data into the blockchain ledger, okay? And A.PUK is the public key of the sender A and A.private key. PRK. Okay. Now the A want to send the day some data to the B. So firstly, he or she will encrypt this data by using the public key of B. And then to get a message, then he calculate the hash of this message and use his own private key to encrypt this information to generate the signature. Okay, and he sent the, this transaction data, the message here, and the signature together to the mining pool. To the mining pool, remember that. And then the miner, he will take this uh, transaction information. And before writing this data into the blockchain ledger, he must check whether this message is really from A or not or someone else maybe attempt to be A, fake to be A, to send the message or not, he not sure. So he must check it first. To check is will he get back this message and then calculate the hash of the message and check the signature by decrypt the signature information using the public key of the sender A here. And if the results are match, it means that the signature here is correct. Okay, and if the signature is correct, he will try to write this information, transaction one here, into the blockchain ledger here. Okay, you got it. And at the receiver side, 
the receiver B here will get back the transaction one here, the information that A sent to him, and using his own private key, B private key, to decrypt the data to get back the original data that A sent to B. That is how the asymmetric cryptography is used in blockchain network. And here, this is the sender size for transaction. And this is a minor verify for the signature. And this, this case of using we call is the public to private because we use the public key to encrypt and use the private key to decrypt. And this is signature is we call it private to public uses case because we use the pri private key to encrypt the data and use the public key to verify the signature to decrypt the data. Okay, you got it. Okay, let's say about some popular asymmetric cryptography algorithm that we are using nowadays. The first one we must uh, take uh, we must uh, talk is the RSA, reverse summing element, RSA algorithm. The RSA algorithm uh, is uh, using by most of the blockchain network nowadays. And the orders algorithm, you can be different for Hellman key chain, elite kill cryptography, Palia crypto system, and so on. So you can check about more detail about this algorithm uh, in the internet, in the Google, and many ways. That's all for our lecture today. If you have some questions or comments, please uh, send me some emails or comment below this video. Thank you so much for your listening.